Hello, my name is Scott and welcome to today's tutorial which forms part of my step-by-step -step Blackboard Collaborate tutorial series. In today's tutorial we will be exploring the functionality of Whiteboard in Blackboard Collaborate. This tool is a great way to interact with your students during a session as it allows you to place a virtual whiteboard on the screen where you can write notes, draw shapes or add comments. Alongside this, if you give the students the necessary access permissions, they can also contribute and write on the whiteboard too. I find it is one way of bringing interactivity to your session, particularly when you have a large group of students in a session and want to ask them a question, as they can then share and write information on the whiteboard for all in the session to see. Let's now move over to the Blackboard Collaborate environment to see the functionality of the whiteboard and how we can use it in practice. To begin, we need to share the whiteboard. So from the Collaborate panel, which can be accessed in the bottom right hand corner, we need to choose the share content option and then select the share blank whiteboard. What you'll see now is we're greeted with the blank whiteboard and also along the top, a variety of tools that we can use with this. So if we start with the third option along called the pencil, this choice allows us to write on the whiteboard with a pencil or draw lines or shapes. Um, and we can also change the color of this through accessing this colors option here. And there's a palette of choices here that we can have. Next to the pencil choice, we then have the shapes choice. And this allows us to draw certain shapes. So for example, we can use the rectangle shape or we can use the ellipsis shape as well. And again, we've got color choices here so we can change the color choices when we're doing that. Next to this, we have the text option. And this allows us to type text uh, using our standard keyboard. And again, uh, with this, we can uh, change the color and have a variety of choices with that. Uh, then we have some other options which are right at the beginning. So we first one we'll look at is the pointer. So this allows us to point to something on screen. So we can show the students or others in the session here something specific that we want them to look at. And finally, we have the select tool. And this tool allows us to move things around on the screen. So we might want to move text around or put things together to make the shape of whatever we're drawing. We then have a little menu down here which talks about view controls and when you pop this open this allows you to zoom in on the whiteboard or to zoom out or to make it best fit the screen size that we've got and the final option that we have here with the tools is the clear which will wipe everything on the whiteboard so before concluding this tutorial there are a few things worth noting when we are using the whiteboard so the first of these is that within the settings menu we can control whether students can write on the whiteboard when it's shared so this can be accessed from uh, the Collaborate panel on the side. We need to click the My Settings and then go to the Session Settings option. And here what we need to do is ensure that the participant permissions has the Draw on Whiteboard and Files option ticked. And this will allow the students to do that. The second thing that we need to be aware of here is when the whiteboard is stopped being shared, all of the information on it will be lost. So a great way to keep a record of the whiteboard discussions is to screenshot it using your computer's built-in screenshot function. Then to upload this onto your standard Blackboard site where you share your slides and other materials so students will then also have a record of the group discussions. And when you want to stop sharing your whiteboard, the easy option is to just tick this one here and it will stop sharing it. And the last thing to note is that whiteboards can also be used in breakout groups and sessions. And this is something we will explore and look at in more detail in a later video. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you all again in the next one.